Okay, welcome to another edition of the Parma uh, Cooking with Chef Mark and Family. Tonight, we're going to do a simple menu for a 19 top that's coming in from out of state or even out of the country. We have some Canadians here as well. And we're doing a real nice menu for them. The first course, anyway, they're just starting to sit down. So I just sliced some really good prosciutto, uh, prosciutto meloni from uh, Parma. And we're going to uh, do some organic grapes next to it. You pop it in your mouth together, you have the savory, you have the sweet. So that's what they're starting off with. Second course tonight is going to be a homemade minestrone soup that we made. And it starts with braised beef. Then we build the soup on top of it. And that's going to be the second course, nice and warm because it's cold here in Las Vegas right now. After that, the third course, homemade annuletti. Nadia, myself, my cousin John, my brother Donald, we're all involved in making this dish. We have a uh, five cheeses stuffed in a nice fresh pasta that we fold over. You saw it a little bit earlier, us constructing it. And then we're going to make this white sauce made from mascarpone cheese, milk, and a little truffle butter so that the flavors are earthy. Uh, really nice soft ravioli. You flipped those already? Yes, Beautiful. And then we're going to uh, have that dish served as a pasta course. After the pasta course, we have a veal course. The veal has just been pounded thin. We lightly bread it and we put it in an olive oil from Italy to make it golden brown. And then we're going to top it with an, a salad made from wild field greens and a little bit of diced tomato and a sweet balsamic vinegar dressing to make the milanese. So that's going to be a veal milanese. And then uh, after that, we're going to give them dessert, other than a little assorted Italian desserts, cannolis, tiramisu, everything we do. We hope you watch, stick around, thank you. It's exciting and fun and uh, watch what happens. This is the homemade minestrone. It has farro in it. It has beautiful cannellini beans, all kinds of diced vegetables, carrots, celery. Started out with braising beef, short ribs, and everything just melts right in there. There's cabbage in there, also some red beans. We're gonna do three at a time for 19 people. Topping it with a little Romano and Parmesan blended and a little bit of nice sea salt and pepper. I got just of olive oil here. Cheese. I'm gonna run these two out. Thank you. Okay, here's what we're doing now. We have the annuletti starting with my cousin John. He's uh, put a little bit of egg wash on the pasta. He's putting the spinach mix on there and we're just folding them over, touch them a little bit, flatten them out and this is gonna be the uh, annuletti for tonight. He actually needs 50 of them. We've been making them for a while here. Okay, what we have going out now are the, what we've been working on, what you saw earlier, the annulati with spinach. So what we did, we boil them, of course. My brother's putting them in uh, uh, the sauce. The sauce is going to have a mascarpone melted in there. You see little bits of truffle. If you can smell this like I can, it's amazing. Soft, earthy flavor of the truffle that's in there. Of course, the cream was, re milk was reduced down. We just tossed it around in a bowl so we can handle it better for a large party. It's all going to go out right now, and uh, I wish you were here to taste it. This is an amazing dish. After the end of pasta, you need the veal chop, the veal chopper, and you cut the veal chop off it. On the end, it's stuck at the fatty end, the one that we don't pound. But be careful how fat you get. I can help you if you want up here. We just got back from serving the pasta, which I showed you the fresh uh, uh, annuletti or spinach ravioli and everybody is uh, enjoying the aroma before they ate it and now they're enjoying the taste. So, okay, so we just introduced the next course to everybody. They're gonna get a choice between a salmon with the pink basil sauce. I'm kinda torn. And they're gonna get a choice uh, of the veal melanase that you saw us preparing earlier. You haven't seen the salmon yet, you're gonna see it shortly. Stay tuned. Here's the veal that we pounded out a little earlier. This is veal from a veal chop with the bone. So we're gonna start with the flour, put it in the flour, shake it off a little bit, then go in the egg. You're gonna use this hand for the egg. You know, you wanna, if you want to, just leave this hand as the wet hand. Switch hands, this will be the dry hand. You still gotta wash your hands. I've already tested the pan, it's ready. Put it in there, nice olive oil. You see the golden color of that? We don't wanna really fry this deep. We wanna get it, just have some nice color on it. In seven minutes, stay with us. In seven minutes, we're gonna put out some of the best food in Vegas, right here at Parma, Las Vegas, Nevada, Summerlin, Chef Mark. That's the veal melonese topped with a nice cold salad. Could be arugula, a lot of people use just arugula, I like to mix it up. You have the balsamic vinegar, a little sweet, and the nice olive oil, chopped tomatoes. There you go, baby. Scottish salmon, coming out next. 
We have the plates over there. We're gonna put this out. It's gonna cook one more minute, just cooking it. Final step. Okay, Rogan, go ahead. Nadia, salmon in the window. Salmon, pink basil. All right, the party of 19 is done with their food. We've been crazy in the kitchen, it's a lot of fun. Nadia's uh, assembling some dessert dishes for each table uh, for a total of 19. My brother makes the great tiramisu. We also make the cannolis here. Uh, you know, we're just gonna serve our homemade desserts to them and let them have fun with it and finish them off with a nice happy ending. So, I wish I was sitting down. We'll see you at Parma.